this vessel here right now is trawling for krill uh, in one of what can only be described as the most spectacular sceneries I've seen. We've got whales all around us, penguins, and yet here's this industrial super trawler fishing for the very foundation of the Antarctic ecosystem. Everyone thinks of Antarctica as a place where there are huge colonies of penguins, where there are whales, where there are seals, all kinds of amazing wildlife. That could all change. The krill fishery is having an impact already at a low level of fishing. The other problem with the krill fishery is that the temperatures are warming. Climate change is having a huge effect on the ecosystem in the Southern Ocean. Um, sea ice is retreating, there's less and less of that, and the sea ice is important to the krill because that's where they lay their eggs and breed. What we saw ourselves is how heavily concentrated their fishing effort is. We'll have seven trawlers right on top of each other, almost trawling behind each other. And what that means is that they're not spreading out their impact. Uh, some people believe we shouldn't fish at all. We should all be vegetarians. Uh, some people believe it shouldn't be in Antarctica at all. But if you, if you look at the challenge we have in the world, we are going to miss 50 million tons of protein in the next 30 years. We have to get it from somewhere, and there, therefore we need to explore those sustainable sources of protein we can get. And, and krill is definitely a very sustainable source of, of protein. Most humans don't get enough omega-3s in the diet, so rather than spending a lot of time worrying about do I use krill oil, do I use fish oil, do I use algal oil, the key thing is just try and increase your omega-3 intake from whatever source you can get, get your hands on. So this is an unnecessary industry and I would argue that it's on the path to being unbelievably dangerous and harmful to the Southern Ocean which has often been described as the world's last wilderness but in reality is a recovering wilderness that's still feeling the impact of commercial whaling but now also the impact of climate change as well. <laughs>